WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange will soon have some Australian visitors as two federal MPs head to the UK on the weekend to ramp up their campaign for his release. Tasmanian Independent MP and Queensland Nationals MP George Christensen say they will be travelling at their own expense to the Belmarsh prison. Assange is set to face trial on the 24th of February. Joining me now is Independent MP Andrew Wilkie, live from Canberra. Andrew Wilkie, good to see you. Uh, why are you going and what can you achieve? Well, good morning, Laura. Um, yeah, well, George and I are heading off on Saturday and we've got a, an appointment uh, at Belmarsh Prison on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, in essence, we want to check on uh, Julian Assange's welfare and health uh, and the circumstances of his incarceration. And, and I certainly want to uh, take the opportunity to assure Mr Assange that uh, there's a lot of people, including here in Australia, who are very concerned uh, at the injustice uh, he faces. I mean, at the end of the day, he hasn't done anything wrong. At the end of the day, uh, in 2010, 2011, WikiLeaks published uh, material highlighting US misconduct in Iraq uh, and in Afghanistan and Guantanamo Bay, uh, including hard, hard evidence of US war crimes. You, you'd remember, Laura, that uh, shocking footage of the, the US attack helicopter gunning down uh, civilians and Reuters journalists in the street uh, in Iraq. Um, in, in reward for him doing that, uh, he's facing 17 espionage charges and one hacking charge in the US. So that's why the US are trying to, mm. to extradite him from the UK. Uh, and that's what these court cases are, are, are all about over coming weeks. Is our government doing anything to help him? Well, Laura, as, as, far, as far as I can tell, no. Um, uh, there's been public utterances from a number of senior government members uh, over some time basically saying, you know, it, it needs to run its course. Um, I think a lot of people are very disappointed that the Australian government I is so hands-off. Um, I would have thought the Australian government would be acutely aware that justice needs to be done to an Australian citizen overseas. And at the end of the day, Assange is, is an Australian citizen. Um, uh, he's not an American citizen. Um, he's not alleged to have committed any offence on US soil. Um, you'd think the Australian government would be very concerned uh, about the extraterritorial dimensions of this. Mm. You'd think the Australian government would be very concerned that the extradition agreement between the UK uh, and the US specifically um, uh, does not allow for extradition uh, on political matters. Mm. Um, I would have thought, uh, you know, this is becoming more of a thorn in the Australian government's side, just like the David Hicks matter uh, yeah. did all those years ago. You'd think that uh, Scott Morrison to get on the phone to his mate to Donald Trump or to Boris Johnson and say, look, you know, this, this is just madness. Uh, drop the extradition and let Assange come back to Australia. But what does it say? I mean, you're an independent MP. You can do what you like. So can all backbenchers, which is what George Christensen is. But what does it say when the most senior person in the Australian government is a backbencher from Queensland going to visit Assange? Well, Georgie and I are co-chairs of the parliamentary um, Bring Julian Assange Home group. And it's interesting that that group, last time I checked, it had 14 members. It has members from the crossbench in the House of Reps and in the Senate. Uh, it has Labor members, a National, a National Party member, Barnaby Joyce, uh, George Christensen, LNP. The only party not represented is the Liberal Party. Uh, I think you can take from that that there is a broad interest in the Assange matter in the Australian Parliament that people from, you know, from the hard left through to the hard right all agree that regardless of what we might think about Julian Assange, uh, there, are, there are fundamental matters of principle here that people need to be treated mm. uh, justly, that the media needs to be respected, the right for journalists uh, and publishers to have freedom to publish material in the public interest, uh, that should be respected. So, uh, you know, parliamentarians seem to understand that and I think this is a case where the government is out of step uh, with the views of many in the community. Now, I know, I know many in the community have a, have a whole range of views about Julian Assange and, you know, there, there are many allegations and, and stories swirl around about him, but I, I would just ask members of the community to focus on uh, the substantive matter uh, and that's that he is be, he's facing extradition uh, purely and only because uh, he reported on and published uh, uh, information including Harvard evidence of US misconduct and war crimes uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. And he did that as a journalist. Uh, he had a right to report that in the public interest. Uh, and it's just unjust for him to face a uh, lifetime in prison for really just doing his job. Well, let us know how your trip goes. We'll speak to you when you return. Thank you, Laura.